A 25 kilogram mass is pulled 3.4 meters across a horizontal surface by a 170 newton horizontal force. The coefficient of friction is 0.33. Find the work done by the applied force. There's our mass. We are pulling it across a horizontal surface with a horizontal force. So the applied force and the displacement are in the same sense, that is, they're parallel to each other. We know the coefficient of friction. So the work done by the applied force is the applied force times the distance through which that applied force acts. And I've put little arrows to show that the force and the displacement are parallel and in the same direction. And because they are parallel and in the same direction, that would constitute positive work and the unit for work is joules. Now let's find the work that's done by friction. If we draw a free body diagram of this situation, we'll have the weight acting downward, the normal force acting upward, the applied force, and friction. Friction, you can see, is parallel to the displacement as well. Friction is equal to mu sub k times the normal force. In this case, hopefully you can see that the normal force is numerically equal to the weight, mg. Therefore, the friction force is equal to mu sub k times mg. And to find work, we need to take the force of friction multiplied by the distance through which that friction force acts. Well, that friction force acts through the entire 3.4 meters. And you can see here that I've put the 3.4 meters pointing to the right, but friction acts in the opposite sense. So friction does negative work on this mass. What about the work done by gravity? Gravity does zero work in this case because the displacement is to the right and gravity acts straight downwards. So in this situation, gravity does no work. Let's find the net work that's done on this mass. The net work is the work done by all the forces on this mass. Incidentally, besides gravity doing zero work, what other force does zero work? Can you guess? The normal force. In any case, the net work is the sum of all the work that's done on the mass. We determined that the applied force does 580 joules worth, friction does negative 280 joules worth of work. In order to properly round that to two significant figures, that's 300 joules. We write it as 3.0 times 10 to the second joules. Now the other way you could find the net work is this equation in the lower left. The net work is equal to the net force multiplied by the distance. Well, what's the net force? We talked earlier that the weight, mg, and the normal force were numerically equal to each other and opposite in direction. Therefore, they cancel. 170 newtons, which is what the applied force is, if we had calculated the friction force, it would have come out to be 81 newtons. So the net force is 170 minus 81 multiplied by the distance. Look at that. 3.0 times 10 to the second joules, just like we determined above.